Good evening, it's Joshua coming to you again from here in Mission. <coughs> it's uh, 10.30 at night. I was hoping to do, get this video up, loaded by 8, but I had to do the final touches on this. and <coughs> Got the door in, got the lettering on. You had to do some <coughs> well, wood repair. It's the 11th of March. The time is going here. But after six weeks work and about 150 hours, finally have this complete. So what I'm going to do is take the camera off the stand just do a walk around on this yurt. This is the H13 32 foot diameter model using the large diameter of platform. Okay, here we go. I'll give you a little bit of walk through then show you the inside. Notice lettering on it. It's in Hebrew script. If any one of you guys know how to read Hebrew, it uh, stands for the ingathering of Israel, or the ingathering of the remnant. Yeah, <clears throat> put some lettering on the roof there too. Just going to give you a little walk around here. Yeah, about, I think over 150 hours to complete this. A lot of work. That's the design in and everything, not just the actual fabrication. So this is what a, a yurt would look like, all set up. And one of the things that you could do here is that right here, if you extended the, uh, <coughs> the the platform out, if you actually dropped your platform a little bit lower, where are we here? Just, just above ground level and extend it out another 8 feet. That would give you a, a 48 foot diameter up from the 32. And uh, you know, if you rounded the the, uh, the outer 48 foot uh, diameter, you could put another uh, curtain wall all the way around. And that would give you lots of room for uh, crafting rooms, for uh, growing food and different things that you're going to need. This world super depression is is coming up, and it's, a, and it's a signal for people to prepare now because the whole world is going to go in, into a time of great depression. And we're looking uh, being in the middle of it probably in a couple of years or so, 2012-2013. So it's wise to prepare while we still have the time. I can give you a little peek through inside here. Open these doors. See if the camera's going to fit inside. If I get the camera in, I can just do a pan view. That's what the inside looks like. Looking up at the ceiling there. Oh, a few raptors there have popped up. Okay. <coughs> give you a view of the floor. You can see the bedrooms to the left there, it would be like a, a double bedroom where you could sleep for. You could have partitions in there. Well, you, the partitions were between the green and the orange and the green and the yellow. So that way you know where the walls are going to be. And that's the other side, it's a mirror image. And the back side would be, <coughs> the yellow there would be your, your uh, washrooms. And in front, front would be your entrance and uh, your kitchen and your dining, or you could turn one of the one into the green one of the green areas into the kitchen dining area. So there's a little bit of leeway here. But I do like the way that it's all come together. This is my first attempt at making a, a yurt model. No, I'll just leave it like that. For myself, I would put another course of uh, platforms all the way around and extend a roof coming down like this. And uh, that's going to give you lots of opportunity, lots more space. Right now, you have about 800 square feet on your 
on your floor, but if you extended it from a 32 to a 48 foot diameter, give you an extra uh, 1100 square feet or something like that. It doesn't seem like it, but the numbers don't lie. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the the camera there and pull up a chair and try to fill in these last couple of minutes. Just like to say hello to uh, Paul and Bonnie up in up in Alaska and uh, to uh, Greg here at uh, UGM here in Mission and to uh, Ellen she's a friend of mine down in I believe North Carolina she knows uh, Merv and Merla who are now in Israel and uh, uh, Shalom to you down there they're 10 hours ahead and also to uh, Jenny down in California. Okay, you're just going to back this up some. And go about there, I guess. Should come into view. I've been listening to uh, Nathan Neal, or Leo, or Watchman's Cry. And it's, I would, I would advise you people out there to uh, take a listen. I, ju I just listened to his recent broadcast on, on audio tape 147 talking about what's coming on the land and that. You know, he's talking about uh, this new age movement and how they're, at some point in time, that they're going to get rid of the Christians got there because they're not going to fit into the new world order so they're going to have to be eliminated and this time a cleansing is coming there's going to be another another uh, massacre of, of believers but we know who in the when who in the end wins the God's getting us ready to enter into the millennium to the into the thousand year rule and the earth is going to be filled with this glory and, and the the wicked are going to be ashes under the feet of the righteous. And uh, I'd just like to uh, say that we do need to prepare. It's wise to prepare. And we can all prepare in our own way. With, you know, We can all prepare, at least spiritually, have our hearts right uh, before God and, and they'll learn to walk in righteousness and, and holiness. And uh, well, there is preparation that's going to be needed in the natural. Now, I'd just like to mention about the POP catalog that I'm making up. Uh, I got this in a, in a dream a few weeks ago and it stands for uh, People Orientated People Orientated Projects. And so I'm, I'm putting the relocation platform together with the Joe Pipe technology with the uh, places of refuge designs for anybody that's interested. You can email me here in Mission at Joshua underscore light zero three, and I'll put you on the mailing list. Okay, that's it. This is a wrap after six weeks. Uh, everything worked out. It just took longer than what I figured, but that's all right. It's it's, it's to help people. That's the main thing. Shalom.